Now there's times where you're trying to get into your car and your dog's in your seat. One thing that I found is a helpful tip is to always have a dog bed for them that you uh, sort of train them to be their own. So this gives them a little more ownership and shows them from the get-go that this is more of their seat than it is than another seat is theirs. So this gives them a little more confidence to sit in that seat. Um, another thing that is useful that I started Samson off with was crate training. And I think it is really important to train any dog how to appreciate a crate. And the idea is you teach them that that is their home. You start off feeding them in there as puppies. You start off with their bed in there. And once they get to where they're well behaved, you can um, reward them by allowing them a little more free roam. And Samson's very good now, so I don't even need a crate for him. I just have to, he'll scratch the door a little bit. Um, in the room that I keep them in, but um, that cardboard door protection seems to work well. Now you can see he's already assumed his position in my driver's seat here, as dogs seem to naturally be inclined to do. And I have taught him the get in your seat command, and <laughs> he's learning this without me even saying it. Um, <clears throat> I don't want to teach him to disobey, so I'll wait and see if he comes back and I'll try this again. All right, so when you're faced with a situation where your dog is in your driver's seat and you want to get in the car, you don't want to be fighting with him trying to get out or him just not letting you into your seat. So similar to using the door to teach them to sit and stay, we can use the car door. All right, and I teach him the get in your seat command. Samson, get in your seat. And he's still pretty new to this one, but I think he knows what he needs to do. I'm going to see if he does it. I'm going to close the door because he's not listening. I'm going to try to open it. I'm going to say, get in your seat. And then if he doesn't, I'm going to sort of push him that way. Samson, get in your seat. And I'll give him a chance. Good boy. All right. Good job. Very good. Nope, stay. Good boy. And then I'm going to try to get in. If he tries to come over onto my lap, I'm going to get out of the car and not progress any further. Now he's being very good. Good job. Good boy. Now the instance where he doesn't, I would have paused or gotten out of the car and even shut the door if it was that bad. But he was very good. And again, I've only been teaching him this for a day and he's already picking it up. I started teaching it to him, uh, or I guess it was two days ago I started teaching it to him. And that simple sit stay command just rolls over into everything um, and always positively reward them now when you get out of the car Samson sit good boy stay and if he starts to follow or try to scramble out you just close the door and wait and they'll eventually learn good boy they'll eventually learn that <clears throat> they don't life doesn't move as fast as they'd like it to when they don't listen. And even when they do listen, I guess it probably doesn't move as fast as they'd like it to, but they'll have a better quality of life when they learn to listen to you, and they'll understand that at a certain point, and that's sort of your goal. Now let's try this again. Samson, and if he's in his seat, I still make him sit because I want him to obey a command before things happen. Samson, sit. No, get in your seat. And now he's not listening, so I'm going to close the door. <clears throat> Let him think about it for a little bit. Get in your seat. Go on. <laughs> We're going to try this again. Um, when you first start out with this, you might need to use a treat and put a treat over in their seat to get them to go there and then always reward them. Um, and you might need to use a little bit of pressure pushing them that way to sh sort of show them what you want them to do. All right, Samson, get in your seat. Come on. <laughs> Be a good boy now. Get in your seat. Right here. Sit. Good boy, stay. Good job, good job. 
And he's still learning this one. He's doing pretty good, though, aren't you, bud? All right. 